Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm actually going to show you a few brand new methods on how to get zero input delay in Fortnite chapter 2 season 8 and if you guys enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would upload so so much and without any further ado, so let's get straight into this topic. Hey guys, for the first part of today's video, what you want to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in energy until you find edit power plan control panel. Just simply open it up and then in blue it says here change advanced power settings. Just simply open it up and you're going to have like this new window here. And first of all, once we're in here, we're going to go under USB settings. Just simply click on this small plus and then we can see now USB selective suspend setting and USB free link power management. And first of all, we're going to open up here the suspend settings and going to make sure that we put it on disabled. Next up, we can see a USB free link power management. And this is pretty much um, how it allows like your windows to set some certain USB ports on power saving mode. And this is actually gonna cause us more extra latency. So therefore, please make sure to actually go here into settings and put this on off guys. And if you don't have this setting, don't be worried. I have a full on guide guys explaining you how you can actually enable this because with a simple CMD command, you can actually get this here. And then we're gonna click here onto apply already. But real quick guys, there's also like an extra step for people who have like wireless devices. Um, I don't know, like a G Pro Superlight is actually really popular right now or some other wireless mice here out there on the market for you guys please also open up wireless adapter settings go here onto power saving mode and put it on maximum performance guys yeah not low power saving me medium power saving or maximum power saving just simply maximum performance make sure that it's applied hit apply again press ok and we're pretty much done here with the first step and then for this next step guys this is a little bit more tricky i actually realized myself that when i use let's say like here dk63 or whatever keyboard uh, I actually get less latency in Fortnite if I'm not using the proper software to this keyboard. As mentioned, I pretty much realized myself that these drivers have a lot more data transfer because you have like all the RGB modes and everything going on here, different profiles and everything. And this is like consistently sending data through your keyboard to the PC. And I realized myself, as mentioned, if I'm not using the drivers itself, I actually have less latency in game. So therefore, I would actually recommend you guys that um, whatever keyboard you have, if it's Apex Pro, a Razer Huntsman Mini, whatsoever, uninstall the drivers and just simply use the ones which are built on windows you know just simply go into your windows search bar type in keyboard you can see your um, keyboard control panel go into hardware and they're just simply going to click here onto your hdmi keyboard device double click onto it go into drivers and go into update drivers you know deinstall your current driver i don't know like your apex software um steel series gg hub or how it's called um your logitech hub if you're using like a logitech keyboard or whatever and just simply search like for the ones which are available here on windows because these are super super basic you know it's like no extra stuff with like um certain profiles macros rgb you know you really just got everything you need for your keyboard to work straight up here on your windows pc you know like no extra stuff so therefore this is actually giving you less delay this is something i noticed myself so therefore i thought i might maybe mention it and yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here with this step. And what's actually also an additional thing I noticed myself, guys, is that there's a huge difference if you actually plug your normal, let's say like your mouse cable into USB 2.0 or 3.0. You know, 3.0 is like the one which is like marked blue on the back side of your PC and 2.0 is the older one, which is like the normal black version. And yeah, I gotta say there's actually a huge difference in that guys. So therefore, if you have actually the possibility to plug it into a USB 3.0 port, even though you're using maybe like a wireless adapter, it makes a huge difference guys myself. This is like the final point I wanna mention here in today's video because I see way too many people who just like plug it into whichever USB slot is like the closest. But if you can, please put it into a 3.0 slot because a 3.0 slot has a way bigger data transfer. The mouse and keyboard are just gonna feel a little bit more responsive. By the way, this applies for both obviously, like for any USB device also for controller maybe so therefore guys please make sure to always utilize them i'm just gonna put it right now your on screen where you can see how big the difference actually is with the data transfer and with that said we pretty much covered here everything boys so yeah we're done <laughs> and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would up most so so much this chair usually costs like 160 dollars guys and it's right now on sale for 99 dollars and with my personalized code guys you can get another 10 dollars off so you're paying like 89 dollars for this amazing chair I mean, that's worth to mention, or isn't it? And with that said, guys, if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer as many as possible. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.